with Sarah and I wanted to come on and give you an update on my wood burning process uh, progress I should say uh, had a little issue yesterday I sat down and got ready to burn and I was playing I had all this different stuff I wanted to do and I broke it I broke the gun I broke the iron I guess uh, this was the one that I ordered. I didn't order it. I used a 50% off coupon. There it is. The Walnut Hollow uh, VersaTool. And it came with this neat case and all these different tips. So I was very happy and I broke it because it says plainly on the packaging to turn off the, turn it off. There's a little power source here. Let it cool and then change the tips. Well, I am impatient and didn't do that. And I wanted to change my tip and so I would get my pliers and just do it while it was still hot. I turned it off, but I didn't let it get completely cool. And I ended up stripping the threads on the inside of the soldering gun. So you can't use it. You can't get bits or the tips to stay in there anymore. So basically, can't use that. Uh, I went and got this one today. This is the other option that they had. It's just called the Creative Wood Burner, again, by Walnut Hollow, and it came with four tips as well. I think I used a 40% off coupon. I think it came to around seven bucks, which was nice. I like it too. The only, the biggest difference is it only has an on off switch on here it doesn't have that um, the heat dial but I'm liking it I have played with it I've been playing with it I was very curious to try the this one which they call it's the um, I used this on the other tool there was a tip similar shape this is called the cone cone point but I think it was just supposed to be the soldering tip, but I still use it to wood burn and it did do a good job. It also comes with the shading tip, the shading point, the universal one, and the flow point, which is what I have on there now. And um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. So I started this, this is just a little dollar frame that I've had in my stash. I've really tried to dig through my stash and find wood that I had. Um, I took this out of here and I did this yesterday. Now this is a Stampendous stamp set that I had and I actually stamped it on here and you can't, you can kind of see a little bit. I'll zoom in or I'll just, I used the Tim Holtz um, dye ink, tea dye, dye ink and I stamped it on here so you can kind of see it. And then I just burned right over the lines. And I like it. I think it turned out pretty good. I tried a couple of the different bits before I killed my other machine. And then I finished it up with, um, today, with the, um, the pointy one, this cone-shaped tip. And I like it. I'm going to go around the edges of the frame in a minute. Actually, let's go ahead and get started. <coughs> I actually, oh, wait, real quick. This is the difference. This is the... Um, the one I have in here now, I'm going to do this again. I was just playing around and seeing what I could do. But it makes a much wider line than this one. So see the difference in the line? But also, and I think it has to do with the kind of wood too. If you look at the dragonfly, it's very dot, 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 dot. Like it picks up the texture of the wood and it makes this very like dotted line almost. You can really see it on the leaf there. It looks like a dotted line, which I don't love. But this is these are things I've had in my stash forever, and I'm just trying to get a feel for it and practice because I've seen on my face. I've I've kind of um, done a search on Facebook and a lot uh, for pyrography pyro pyro up oh, i can't burn and talk at the same time it seems oh my tummy's growling but look at that did you see how deep that burned 
not thrilled about that. Um, pyrography. See, this isn't doing what I hoped. This is a, probably a different kind of wood than that other wood. Um, a lot of people use these tools, this very same tool, the, the Walnut Hollow, and they get a good result, which I am not getting at the moment. This is not very, I'm not pleased about it. But the thing is, I didn't sand this. That's the other thing. I'm going to set that aside and we'll go to this. But I sanded this just briefly, and now I'm going to try and just put this down and see much smoother. Do you see how that's much smoother? I also found a woman on Facebook. Her name is Sharon Birchtold, I think. And I signed up for her emails. And I think she does little workshops and stuff. Um, and I took her little, when you sign up for her emails, she gives you a free, uh, it's called your PhD in wood burning. And it was just a couple of videos talking about PhD, pressure, heat, and duration. She said there's three things that you need to know, and those were pressure, heat, and duration. So depending on, well that was wonky, the amount of pressure you use, the, the heat setting, and how long you're holding the fire to the piece, that could change the result you get. So when you practice and you learn about that, See, like I'm going faster. It seemed like I went much faster, and then if you slow down, it's going to be a much darker line. Um, but I like this tip. It seems like I can get a nice round line. The other, um, I guess, soldering iron, basically, burning tool I had. Oh, I hit that. I fell in the hole. There is a learning curve to this, um, but anyway, I was using the universal tip, which is more like a chisel point type tip, and I couldn't go around the edges. I have my glass mat there. I couldn't go around the edges as easily as this. This is really making nice curves, so I like that, and the only thing is it, it burns a much darker line, which I kind of like too. I do like that. Now, to do my bird... I don't think I want to do his beak with this thick thick of a line, but um, like look on the other one. Like his eye and his cheek. I think I'll come back with the other um, tip for that. But I am liking that I can just go right up and make a curve. No problem with this. This is actually for a quick craft type of a project. I like this tip. It's very hot though, this gun too. And like I said, it only has the one setting. It just has on and off on the um. But people that use this tool, the very same tool, or maybe the Versa tool even that I broke. <laughs> um they got such good results so I thought well I can't give up. I have to I have to keep trying but yeah that duration see like when you stall you get these so let me try and make the stem this could be interesting and the slower you go see I go a little faster that is thick that I'd rather have the line be finer and I don't think you can make a fine line with this tip but I just figured I'd be consistent and make finish the whole thing with the same tip. And I'll do my details like with the, I think I'm going to use the universal tool to make like lines in the flowers. I want to try shading too. So I'm going to practice a little bit and try and do some shading. I tried to do the shading on this one with this tool. Like I just went like this and shaded. I don't like that. Then I came back and I used the other like tip, the universal tool. Um, 
So I'm going to play around and try like even this. I think I don't want to go over this whole thing with this tool because with this tip because it'll make it way too thick. I like the thinness of this one. So I'm going to have to figure out a middle ground because I don't want to use this thick of a line on all the things that I do. But I do like a dark line. I do like it, but I'm going to make that. I have to make a beak. Um, what else? I kind of did shading around this. Like a little shaded area there. What else? I put little grass pieces down here. And... I wrote welcome along the top, but I think I'm going to trace that on to make sure it's in the right place. But that looks pretty cute. Now I have to try, but see this wasn't good. Like I didn't sand it or anything, but this fell into the, like it's gouging the wood and I'm, oh, this is horrible. That's not good. See, there's a, there's definitely a learning curve. And the other thing I was going to tell you was uh, I was in Target today and this was in their woodworking, like actually their craft aisle. They don't have much of a craft aisle, but this I think is called birch wood. I took the label off it. It just said wood, but they had the same thing at Michael's for, this was $4.99 or something at um, Target, and it was like $6.99 at Michael's, so that's why. I didn't get any wood at Michael's because I thought, I'm not buying it. I'm going to use what I have. But all wood burns differently. So I just wanted to see, like, this is designed for this type of thing. Um, so I just wanted to see, oops, the bark's falling off, what, um, what the difference felt like and stuff. So I'm going to, I'll be playing with that. But obviously, I would wait until I got um, a little bit better and try to make a nice design on that, you know. Um, maybe I'll do the hummingbirds again. I also have a nice uh, a butterfly pattern that is a stamp too. Maybe I'll just put butterflies on here. That could be cool. Like just different size butterflies all over the place. So we'll see. Um, look, and I get I keep getting bark all over. Um, but that's it. I just wanted to let you know, uh, if you're impatient like me, be careful and make sure that your tip, that you let your tip, like I'm going to turn this off right now. I turned it off. Let it cool down. Just set it there and let it cool down completely. Um, then take your pliers, right? These are called pliers. And take out your tip and change your tip that way. And don't break it like I did. Um, but yeah, this didn't come with a case or anything. So I'm just going to put this in the case that I got with the other one. And, um, try that. So see, here's two. I got to give them a beak. And I'm going to try and do some shading techniques. And I'm going to practice. Um, so I guess I could put the link for Sharon in the um, description box. I think, you know, those of you, and listen, those of you who have messaged me that you have or put a comment, you've had your wood burning tool for 16 years. I would love to see some of the stuff that you've burned. And also, if you have any tips or tricks that I can use, I would love to hear that as well. Um, all right, you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.